Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. Uh, what we're going to do today is continue with, uh, I want to wipe this out some more. This was the first coat. I had asked you to put a coat of white all over the bird, okay? And what I did was use a pea size of the acrylic paint to about three quarters of a cup of water. So this is not going to do it, and we're going to need to do more. So what I'm going to do is show you the steps. We're going to go through a lot of steps in the painting of the bird, but I'm going to try to simplify it as best I can. So bear with me, and I'm going to move the camera down, and we'll start by giving it another coat of white. So bear with me here. Okay, we're back again. Uh, I'm getting titanium white acrylic paint, and I'm going to put maybe about a pea size, which is like about that. Now, I'm going to add water, and I'm going to go with about three quarters of a cup, not quite all the way up to the top. And you want to leave room in there so that uh, when you are mixing that you don't have a mess. And the other thing, too, is that's good to have is, is a paper towel. This one has seen me painting a lot. I, I'm actually uh, working on the one piece that we've been creating on my videos, but I've also done a separate piece that I start painting ahead of time so I can get the idea of what I need to teach for this bird. And I uh, I have a second one as well. But for just showing you the step-by-steps, I, I just want to uh, show you how I'm doing this to get to where my first one is okay now i'm mixing this pretty well so that i don't have a lot of heavy paint in there it's pretty much blended in there but there may be a piece or two i'm going to put a little bit of water here in the second tray not that i'm going to go there but if this gets too thick i'm going to come back and water it down a little bit. Now, I told you, and I hope I'm dead center here, that you want to sand the beak because the beak uh, with the super glue tends to beat it up. So I sanded it down and I gave it a coat. Okay, so it's really not penetrating that well. And that's fine. That's fine. So I'm going to start by going over the first coat that we did in white and and if you notice I don't want to glob it on I am really putting it on not I'm uh, sort of overly generous but I'm I'm making sure it doesn't just uh, saturate one area and it's really globbed up. I'm not. This is a, a almost like, a, well, you could say it. It's like a watered down uh, paint in a sense because I don't want this to turn white, white. I need that ghosting of the burning we did coming through here. I think it adds to it. And as we go further on, I will... Uh, You'll see what I'm talking about. It it actually improves the look of the bird, I think. So I um, just want to get you in the right uh, frame of mind as far as painting goes. So if you notice, I apply. I don't overwork. I just want to get like an even amount. I'm not going back and forth. I'm trying to paint in one direction uh, and and get it in uh, every nook and cranny. And if I see something that doesn't look like it takes, I'll dab it again. So I'm, I want to try to 
The breast is probably going to be the easiest part because we have no burning on it per se, unless you did burn yours. <laughs> and you could do that too. You can, you know, I showed you how to texture this breast area with a, with a stone. And you could even use a diamond to do the same thing to get the line work in there. You can also burn it like I do the top. If you prefer that to the stoning, hey, go for it. You know, there's a lot of ways to skin a bird, as I say. <laughs> and uh, so I'm making sure that I don't have globs just sitting there. I keep on moving it. And if you notice, I always try to hold the tail uh, so that I don't do finger painting as much. And uh, I'm going to bring this down. And before I get to the tail, I'm going to uh, dry this. And I'm going to show you that too. Uh, I'm applying this pretty freely, but I'm making sure in no one area is it really like if if it looks like it it's getting really saturated you know to, to the point that it, it's like too much paint on it i'm going to ask you to just keep moving the paint you know what i mean take it like here i'm putting a little bit on and then i try to drag it out and when it looks like it's not covering an area below where i dabbed it on then uh you, you, you have to go and recharge your brush again. Then. So I'm getting it down to the end here. So I'm going to get this part. I'm looking in here on, on, the, on the wing area. I'm going to water the brush out just a little bit, and I'm going to come back in. I don't want to take too much paint off of here, but if you can actually do that, or you can even water it down. You can get your brush and water it down if you happen to get too much paint on. And uh, I'm more concerned with uh, the head and uh, the where we did the burning uh, technique uh, to let that show through, okay? So at this point, you always want to rinse your brush out, which is what I just did take the excess off so you don't ruin your brushes too and I'm going to get a hair dryer like this here and I'm going to try to blow this away from the paint that I have and dry this whole thing really well and we should, on the second round here, get where we need to be, I think. But I need to get to do the, the tail feathers here. And I want to make sure this is really dry because I want to handle this upper section. And... And I'll let this dry pretty good. So we got it down. And you can see as as it dries, you can still see that ghosting coming through. And I'm gonna take a chance and assume I've got it to where it's, it's I'm gonna handle it without having paint. There's another way of doing this. I think I showed you in the uh uh, Cardinal, I actually have a holder. It screws in to where one of the feet would go in, and you can uh, manipulate it that way. But in this case here, I'm going to I'm going to hold off on that. Now I'm going to go in and do the tail. I'm going to work the underneath side. And I want to make sure I'm covering all the nooks and crannies, the ends. Make sure you get the ends. And, uh, let's see. And the top. Got that covered. 
And the tail seems to, I mean, the bird seems to be pretty dry. And I'm going to do that and make sure you get the ends. And underneath here as well, make sure you got all of it. And the only thing I'm not, I feel as though I didn't get too well was right here in the breast area. So I see like a little yellow coming through from what would be the wood color. So I'm just going to give that a once over just on the breast area one more time. And then I think that should be enough. But two coats usually does it. And if you notice, if you see how this is flowing, it's uh, very watery. Okay, not watery, but it, it's not, uh, it's a, a little less than creamy. You know how cream comes out, you know, it's a, it's got a little bit of thickness. This is just a little bit waterier, waterier, yeah, watery, <laughs> or uh, than, than that cream, okay. So bear with me here. I'm gonna do the tail and the, and the breast area now. Come over here, put that on, and it's good to have a hair dryer. It just accelerates the painting so that you can keep moving more. And I've got so many of these hair dryers just to, just for this, you know, to get it dried out. And within a, like a minute of hitting all this, it, it pretty much would be set up. And that's what I'm trying to achieve. I'm trying to get a look of what you're seeing on the top there now. You're seeing a lot of the feathering coming through. It's not totally white white. It will be more in the breast area than it is. So I'm gonna call that good enough for the moment. And I'll want to get started on a couple other things. The, the one thing I want to do first, before we go too much further, is there's paint on the eye. And right now, I just want to scrape that off. This is just a an X-Acto knife. Any knife will do this to just glide it over the glass eye, just to get the excess. Don't go right in there and pull out any of the putty or anything like that. You don't want to go that deep, but get most of the paint off the uh, off the eye. Then I'll wet my brush, and just with a wet brush, it'll take most of that out of there. So that'll do it right there on that. And if I miss the spot, no big deal. It just gets that one glob off of there because we're going to be put thin washes, very similar to the undercoat that we've done here. And that's with titanium white. So if you're starting out, I'm gonna use different colors, but you could, from a regular set of acrylic paints, uh, you know, interchange what I'm using when I say a certain color, as long as you're close, like a red or a blue or, or brown, uh, you can utilize other colors too and get the same effect. Okay, we're at this point here now, and what 